Hello and welcome back to Squid Junction 41. I am Weef, joined here by the one, the only, Bio. We are gonna be here, uh, you know, pull up your, your Capri Suns and your really weird haircuts and your condescending attitudes because it's Soccer Moms versus Sonder. Soccer Moms rocking a roster of uh, the one and only Linda, followed up by Heather, Karen, Susan, and Deborah. All very, very iconic names, and Sonder needs no introduction, I'm sure. Very exciting set. Soccer Moms, clearly not a meme team. Uh, all these players are uh, have aliases other than uh, being 42 and divorced with two kids. But um, clearly, you know, being seed two, they made it into semis. They are uh, cooking something. I don't know who gave them Nintendo Switches or if they're just confiscating from their children because they're not getting their homework done. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, for sure. You should never doubt the skill nor passion of soccer moms definitely as a florida resident we have quite a few of them down here and my oh my they are a force to be reckoned with however just like that sonder is definitely yet another very strong force i think we're going to see something like unstoppable force meets unmovable unmovable object right uh and as these two teams are looking to duke it out in this very intense um semi-final set Best of five between the infamous soccer moms and Sonder. Now we uh, now we are still waiting for the room to set up, um. <laughs> and unfortunately, us commentators do not quite have the stream pulled up on our uh, end. We apologize our, for that one, folks. I think our wonderful um, streamer's capture card died. <laughs> yeah, we're still having quite a few technical difficulties, which, as we've mentioned, has been a recurring theme in this tournament both on our side and the player's side if you all recall you know that infamous set between holy dive food groups and 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 captain happy crew my oh my, my what a set but we are regardless still waiting here for the set to begin and we will inform you when um when us commentators have the tools we need I mean, oh, there it is, there it is, we're in the game! Oh. Let's go, or at least on Twitch. I'm watching the Twitch feed right now. Exactly. So it's gonna be a little bit behind, but uh, we're seeing here, uh, I can't tell who's in the lead right now because the X button is being pressed, but it looks like all four members are up. Zone uh, control gonna be switched into Sonner's favor. Looks like Soccer Moms had a push all the way to six before Sonner took control. These moms are going crazy. Um, they are asking to speak to the manager right now and Sonder does not know how to respond they just work here yeah, exactly and I do like how soccer moms are really channeling their inner well well hence the name soccer mom and bringing out that unstoppable um, 96 deco with that Kraken representing uh, representing the average soccer mom at a at a soccer game as the name says Susan coming out with very aggressive plays with this deco with his 96 deco those have that kraken putting in so much work and as the stream is slightly delayed we are seeing a very fierce battle between both teams as i believe it is sonder who is trying to hold the um who's trying to hold the zone and try to play for a knockout with just eight points remaining but it will not quite be enough and soccer moms are going to hold this lead of six from Sonder as so there's still plenty of time left in this match for things to go either way. Yeah, um, now we see Toast over there. Uh, or, well, that wasn't actually Toast. That was the other team's machine because, uh, man, I'm shaking up right now. Um, already, they're, we're seeing them super jump onto the plot. I mean, that makes sense. It's very hard to get on the plot because the spinner has to be in the right position and you have to back up and take the time and jump and you risk missing the jump. And so super jumping is kind of a safe deal. Um, and right now, Soccer Mom still, the Sheen, still really uh, having a ton of presence on their plot. Already, they have, only have about 10 seconds left uh, for Sonder to take control, and now they have a penalty of 70 to work through. Now that they've capped, it's certainly going to be an uphill battle from here, but if this map is known for its strongholds, if this Wiper can get that double kill, and they, they certainly did, it's looking like they might be able to hold for quite a long time. Uh, this machine going to be able to take it up on right side, like we've seen machines time after time do, throwing fizzies just making it so it's dangerous to stand on that left side without you know having getting that machine out of the way oh definitely we just see there's so many picks coming out from both sides and it's it is a wipeout on the side of Sonder soccer moms fighting tooth and nail and might i say gatorade 
Gatorade and Collapsible Tent um, <laughs> to maintain their lead control. Heather coming out with a Crab Tank very aggressively on their on this on Saunders plat to try and hold them back. However, there yeah, Saunders three specials online trying to make something happen. All specials come out. However, it's one it's one down on Saunders. They're struggling to make do with this pretty much constant man disadvantage as soccer moms is constantly being able to hold up the aggression and get consistent picks on Sonder which really um which really prohibits their uh, their pushing capabilities yeah Sonder was able to save themselves with a brief cap there buying themselves a little more time but as this game comes to a close soccer moms is still serving up apple slices and peanut butter in mid really having a strong control there and not not being able to be shaken Tri strikes come out but don't do much there's only about 10 seconds left until they ko Sonder can uh has to pull this out one last time if they're hoping to take this into overtime at all and get the game it's only the neo splash up but they take out linda um over here but it's timer still taking they can't paint quite enough and that's soccer moms taking game one that was some very strong cheering coming from the sidelines of soccer moms definitely living up to their name with that with that middle class suburban ferocity as Sunder is just not able to deal with the raw aggression of these four uh, of these four soccer moms um and and topple over on game one splat zones museum de alfonsino but just as soccer moms move from one place to the next from one uh, from one soccer game to the next we are now moving on to uh clam blitz on scorch gorge we've Based on how much you like open Clam Blitz maps, as we mentioned from your love for Clam Blitz Museum, what do you think we're going to see here on both sides? Which team do you think has the advantage based on what we've seen? I mean, Clam Blitz is like soccer if you squint really hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, I can see Soccer Moms taking it. And I don't know, they did really well with the openness of Museum, as we saw. And I can imagine that their ability to take control and not let it go very easily is going to come to their advantage. But Museum Zones is, is one that we often see where it just te uh, teams flip back and forth of really long holds. So I'm not sure if that's too indicative of what we're going to see here or if Sonder is going to pull out with the I am the manager in response to uh, Soccer Moms asking <laughs> to see him. Oh, sure, for sure. Um, we're going to see if Sonder is going to be able to make that wiper composition that they are so, so fond of work on this second on the second game however i don't know it's going to be difficult soccer moms is really doing a great job of pushing with that 96 deco that kraken is really useful not only on most on a, on really a lot of maps but it's also especially on open maps like this uh such as scorch gorge is really useful for 96 since it has that open space to hold those sight lines very strongly with that wall with uh with those high damaging shots from the 96 and then just being able to push forward spearhead its team towards the goal with that crack and possibly even giving jumps as we've seen a lot on twitter and clips like that so i'm not sure this could definitely swing either way as both teams are quite adept at this kind of more midline -y play that we saw a bit last game but regardless we're gonna see if our speculations hold up to the standard as both teams come out basically with the same comp except never mind Sonder coming out with a heavy splatling Ooh. to base their comp a little bit more and give them an anchor to jump back to when they push so aggressively with that wiper it does definitely make sense both teams looking to take mid from two angles however Sakuma is playing very very passively there they haven't even some of them haven't even dropped yet however I sent corrected pushing very very aggressively two down the side of Sonder it is now with 3v2 in Sonder's in Soccer Moms' favor just as I say that not quite Karen manages to get a very clean pick but does not quite live and Soccer Moms do manage to come out on top in that skirmish in mid slowly setting up a push with uh, with their one splash getting very very close to a crab tank that they can set up on Saunders plat to to give their team a lot of space and chip damage to make stuff happen already we see susan up there killing it with the kraken up in there but there's not much follow-up in terms of their but they're able to just get the machine and get a wall set up and able to hold plat pretty well while they're waiting for their team to start building clams but Sonder is pretty determined to not let the soccer moms invade, uh, as I mean, I'm sure anyone would be. 
Uh, just uh, making sure that they're kind of getting flushed out, making sure that they're popping uh, their specials at the right time, but unfortunately a crab in mid is going to be very hard to contest. Looks like Sucker Moms are just going to be able to hold mid for quite a long time. He's getting the picks that they need despite going three down, actually. Oh, for sure. And Sunder's doing a great job. They're already looking to set up a push here. That power climb getting dangerously close to the basket, not quite able to get a score, but some specials coming out. Wavebreaker on this side of Sonder going to deny Soccer Mom some space. However, that is two down inside of Sonder. Their backline and their splash are down. It is Soccer Mom's looking to push, maybe pop this crack and get a lot of presence on Sonder's plat. And I'm not sure, I mean, both teams are still struggling to get a strong enough foothold to finally get a score on the board. Tonight is the night, apparently, a very long drawn out Clams games. Right as I say that, it just looks like so uh, Soccer Moms are doing a really good job of getting themselves set up for a push. Bia Bomb goes out, and that is going to be a power clam break in the basket. Uh, Trizuka, you know, a really well placed crab, but unfortunately the Trizuka is going to cut it really close, or cut it short rather. Soccer Mom still finding the way to get some clams in. 62 down, and that looks like a clam jump is going to be incoming, getting it in, pushing them all the way to 42. They are three down, the splash is still in mid, but that is going to be the end of their push. Mm -hmm. the, however, a lead of 42, especially with how passive these two teams are playing, is definitely very useful for Soccer Moms to have. And just as like I was saying, Soccer Moms are doing a great job of playing off of their midline aggression. But just as like I say, that is two down, and Sonder looking to make a push here with their two-man advantage. Scrum playing a little bit more far back, looking to get another crab tank. Uh, Toast playing very aggressively with that Booyah Bomb, toying with fate. To try and not get, uh, to not get, to not break their armor and get splatted. Trying to get some points on the board. Will they take lead? They do by one small clam. It's three down inside of Sonder, but the damage has been done. And Soccer Moms lose lead as they start scrambling to hold the mid and set up a counter push to take their lead back as time is taking. With Heavy being the last one left alive, that means that they weren't able to push in as much as they wanted to. That Heavy can put a lot of pressure out on its own, and while it, uh, it can't push in any further on its own by any means, it can hold its own very well. And so uh, we see Soccer Moms, you know, you know, they, they drink a little bit too much red wine last night, failing on that defense, but they see a nice rebound here, already going in once again with that Kraken like we saw, and they're going to be able to get this power clamp in. But however, with the Wipeout, there's not going to be any fallout. One once again, don't talk to them until they've had their coffee, and clearly they did not for that push. Mm, definitely, Sonder managing to shut down Soccer Moms' push very effectively. Right at the last moment, they only scored a power clamp. Now, it is definitely still winnable for Soccer Moms. All they need is one is one power clamp and one normal clamp to take lead, but before that, they need to stop this very strong push from Sonder getting set up points coming out on the board the penalty is almost gone for Sonder will they get some more points on the board and extend their lead not quite it is three down on the side of Sonder it is only the splash alive scrub way back in mid looking for a shark looking for a pick Still there. will they be able to that is a great flank but oh. not quite they die to the raw power of suburbia as Susan gets that clean pick with the oh, oh the my and just as fast as it started soccer moms managed to knock out that game they said no 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 we finally had our coffee now we want to speak to the manager and they went straight in there with that power clam jump three power clams went out on the board scored and gave them that game to finish yeah we kind of saw um we saw Sonder go in there at the last second, trying to get another put, like a last push in, maybe trying to knock it out, make sure that uh, Soccer Moms didn't even have a chance. But in the end, it kind of ended up sealing their own fate. Uh, they went three down. They didn't get much accomplished with that push. It just gave Soccer Moms so much time to get their little tents and umbrellas set up and <laughs> apply plenty of sunscreen for the game and for their push to get nice and clean. How do we think we're gonna fare on Tower Control Undertow? Well, I must say, I think we may be seeing um, Susan switch off of her classic 96 deck. Very unfortunate, but thanks to the recent Kraken nerfs, it is definitely not that good here. It is not, it's not quite, it's not quite so cheesable on tower, is, and thanks to the increased knockback. So it may be more difficult to make Kraken on tower work 
as well as it did pre-patch. Uh, we may be seeing them go, soccer moms go with a more traditional, perhaps double double crab tanks. Um, uh, so double splash, um, bladder shot machine, for example, which does prove to be quite useful on on very linear maps such as this tower control undertow with uh with those with those two crabs and that Trizuka managing to get a lot of value on these narrow corridors that we're seeing that we see a lot on this map but as for Sonder, i think we're probably going to see them stick with this wiper uh with they're probably going to go back to their wiper and and just kind of stick with it since they Definitely, as we've seen in the past, Sonder is definitely a team that likes to play around uh, this one quick respawn weapon, which in this case is Wiper. And they, they're normally doing a really good job with it, but they're struggling a little bit against Soccer Moms. But I think on this map, I have faith that their Wiper will be able to finally, well, wipe the floor with Soccer Moms. <laughs> um, I mean, Soccer Moms has been running that machine pretty consistently, doing the laundry. I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to make a laundry joke. We're having way too much fun with this, y'all. Um, I hope I hope y'all are enjoying it. My my brain is thoroughly racked with uh, soccer mom puns. But anyway, match point. Uh, let's see. Uh, if soccer moms takes it, they take the set. They secure themselves a place in, I believe, winners finals. Um, and so uh, Sonder really wants to kind of put a stop to that and kind of put a reverse over their own. But some interesting confos is uh, the reflux gets pulled out for the first time this tournament. Not exactly something I expected. Bio, what about you? Well, I must say, I was not expecting it, especially as shy uh, the, the the background player that we saw last match. Um, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure that they were experimenting with this reflex. It's definitely a bit unexpected, but we are seeing some top teams try to experiment a little with it, get their charger players onto it, or at least some of their splashes to flex onto it and see if they can push it. But it's not quite working as Sonder is on the back foot here again. Wiper trying to find an angle on the right side, getting pushed back by the crab. So much damage being put out. However, actually, now that I think about it, Reflux was actually a very good pick. Those missiles are so good for a map both as linear and as cramped as Undertow. It's very difficult to run away from, uh, from those missiles. And if you do run away from the missiles, there's really only one direction you can go backwards because forwards you're not going to be there because there is no sideways and forwards you'll just get it'll just be a meat grinder so it's a great way to basically instantly stop the opponent's push if your team pushes with it effectively which we are seeing Sonder do pretty well however though soccer moms the laundry machine is going out the cycle has been done it's ready to get folded and folded is going to be what's happened to the tower push stopped in its tracks two down on the side of Sonder with only the machine left alive now uh, toast to kind of really trying to survive there to uh, have any semblance of control in mid before it gets taken down that's basically back to a clean slate for Sonder having to get all the control back and basically uh not many specials on the board. Crafting just got charged and missiles are on their way as well. We're going to see if they're going to be able to use those to their advantage, uh, even against a Kraken and a Crab Tank on the other side of their own. But yes, but as we just saw, uh, although this crab still got value, it was forced into Crab, uh, into Ball Form, thanks to those missiles. And Soccer Moms is doing a great job of just holding back Sonder. We're seeing this wiper scrambling around, not quite able to do what it wants to do. It's it's finding it's finding it really difficult to find a way in to search for those windows of opportunity to draw attention away to the side, which is what a quick respawn weapon really wants to do. And that is two down the side of Sonder. They Sonder has a Kraken in their base. Susan absolutely popping off several kills with the Kraken. It is only the the machine on Sonder. I, if, if I gotta say, this is this is just a laundry difference. If you if you ask me, Soccer Moms is folding those clothes and using that laundry machine just so much better than Sonder, and we are seeing it pay off with their lead of 22 compared to Sonder really only not even being able to break that penultimate checkpoint. So Soccer Moms doing such a great job of playing around that crack and playing around those displacement specials, playing around just really the raw amount of midline pressure they have to effectively hold back Sonder and not let them push in, even with missiles. 
Soccer Mom has been fighting, like, Soccer Mom's fight for some spare Kohl's cash at the end of the month. Uh, they've just been continuing to hold so, so effectively, and once again, the Krakens are coming out being extremely aggressive and really showing what the special does best, making space and not allowing anyone in. Bio Bomb's coming out, and we are at the last few seconds. Can Sonder pull something out? No, they cannot. Soccer Mom gets the very, very clean 3-0 off of Sonder, advancing themselves further and further into this bracket and really proving that you don't mess with moms after their kids have gone to bed. Oh, definitely, and that is a 3-0 sweep on the side of Soccer Moms. As you said, a very impressive performance from them. They must be feeling very proud of themselves. They're probably going to go post about it on Facebook later. But, um, but yeah, unfortunate loss for Sonder, but Soccer Moms will be moving on to winner's finals against, um, well, whatever team wins uh, the other winner's semifinals, which we will most likely see on stream later. However, that will be the end of Weef and I's commentator, uh, commentator block. Uh, it was, um, I had a very fun time. It was an honor passing with you, Weef. Uh, so tell me, Weef, where can we find you outside of this, well, commentary? Well, if you enjoyed my very, very bad soccer mom jokes, you can follow me on both Twitter and Twitch at Weef Slider, like Reef Slider, but with a W bio. Where can we find you? Well, you can all find me on, on Twitter at bio underscore underscore 29. If you want to see um, if you want to see me post more incredibly bad takes about this game and its map design, which if you were They're here on the stream, bad takes. <laughs> you you will see that I rave on about a lot. But without further ado, this will be the end of of our two commentary duo. And we, we will be back after a short break to um, to give all of you viewers the second half of this exciting double elimination tournament. So stay tuned. We won't be back. It won't be us. But you're, you're going to be in good hands. See ya. Platoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today.